Hey ninjas, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to use Pinterest for your marketing and get those amazing new buyers to your store for free, even if you've never used Pinterest, even if you have no followers or no one has heard of your business before. So who does this work for? The strategies and principles I'll be sharing with you will work for you even if you're a new or a more established business because Pinterest is one of those beautiful platforms where you can literally start from scratch today and get buyers to your store without actually having any followers. And you can do this quite quickly with very little effort. And even if you've been on Pinterest for a while and want to learn ninja tips on how to actually maximize uh, your effort on Pinterest to get more of those buyers to your store, we'll talk about that too. Now you're probably asking what kind of businesses does this strategy work for? Now it's applicable to all online businesses, but I'm specifically talking about e-commerce stores, e-commerce brands and product makers. So if you have a Shopify store, a WooCommerce store, or if you have an Etsy shop, or even if you are an Amazon seller, this strategy will work for you. Hi, my name is Sylvia Myers and I'm a co-founder of the Traffic Ninjas. Oh, yeah. If you are new to us and new to this channel, we talk about all things highly converted traffic to your online store on limited resources to make sure that your amazing products are selling like hotcakes. And we always use the little known underground ways to help you do that. So do follow us, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to make sure that you never miss out. Now, most of you are looking for easy ways to get buyers to your online store and sell your wonderful product. And Pinterest is just an amazing tool for doing that. So let's go through this step by step. Okay, the first thing you need to know about Pinterest is actually how this platform operates and how is it different in comparison to other platforms, for example, like Facebook or Instagram. Because once you understand this, it will help you to really get most out of your Pinterest marketing in a super easy way in a very, very short time. So most people don't realize that Pinterest is actually not a social network, okay? It's an inspiration or an ideals platform, which typically means two things. First, that you are not interrupting people's day by sticking yourself and your products and your brand into their feed, okay? Which is what Facebook or Instagram or TikTok do and which is what their marketing is all about. And you can watch another video where we teach how to do that if that's what you are interested in. Now, in Pinterest, you also don't have to talk to anyone how amazing that is. And you can pre-schedule all of your content, or in other words, you can also batch it, what as we call it in the marketing lingo. And essentially, there are only a couple of super, super important things that will work wonders for you when it comes to Pinterest marketing and getting those buyers to your store. The first one is really how to navigate the platform effectively without spending a ton of time on it. And we'll go through that. And I do have to say that even brands who have been on Pinterest for a long, long, long time don't always get this one right. So it's worthwhile to pay attention. The second thing is that once you've got that part sorted, the second super important part is to really understand how to get as many buyers to visit your store and buy all of your wonderful products because that's essentially what it's all about. Now, before we go any further, you need to realize that there is 433 million active users on Pinterest literally every single month. Okay. Now you also want to know that 45% of people living in the U S with a household income of over hundred thousand dollars are on Pinterest too. There is 60% women, but there are really high growing male users on Pinterest too. Now, next, I already mentioned that Pinterest is not uh, a social network. It's a search network. So it's perfect for you if you don't want to interact with anyone as users really come to Pinterest for the inspiration. They come to Pinterest for ideas, for planning, and those who find you there tend to fall in love with all of your products and literally everything you've got, which is great news, right? Also, what I need you guys to realize is that really you don't need any followers to get those buyers to your store. Look at this. These guys have 33 followers, but really are getting over 51,000 monthly views. So this is really, really important because it's not a popularity contest, okay? Facebook and Instagram and TikTok 
preference that viral content, they're a popularity contest, but Pinterest preference is what's relevant to their users, which is fantastic. And I'll show you examples on how to do this and make sure that you really get connected to your ideal buyer. And that's not all. The best thing is that Google loves Pinterest and Pinterest loves Google. And they are constantly making sure that Pinterest results will come at the top of Google searches, just like here. Okay, just like you can see at the example, example here, I just Google winter jacket ideas and Pinterest straight away came up first. So everything you create on Pinterest will be essentially preferenced by Google when people search for products that are similar to yours. So the good news is that you'll be able to get additional buyers to your store who are not even on Pinterest, but they find you through Google. How amazing is that? And guys, remember that Google gets 63,000 searches every single second. So this is one major, major, major opportunity you definitely don't want to miss out on. Okay, so let's deep dive into this amazing platform and how to navigate around it effectively without spending a ton of time on it. So first thing you need to do, if you haven't done that yet, you've got to go to Pinterest for Business and create an account okay now i presume that most of you guys have already done that part but if you want to check some specific details on how to set up your pinterest business account we've got another video specifically about that but for now please stay with me until the end because we are going to go through super powerful strategies and at the end of this video i'll give you an amazing power tip on how to literally triple the amount of buyers coming to your store in less than 30 seconds. Okay, so how to navigate at the Pinterest platform is super easy, yet most online stores get it wrong. So essentially, we only need to do two things. We have pins and we have boards, okay? So this is, for example, uh, an example of a store. So this would be under created, these would be the pins, and under saved, these would be the boards. Okay, so the way you want to think about this, first create your pins and then you create your boards. The way you want to think about it is that these pins are essentially your individual products. Okay, so this is where you load your products and the boards are kind of like your collections. Okay, so what you want to understand is that when you're creating your pins, like each of these pins, each of these products can have multiple images in there and it can even have a video okay let me show you a pin that has videos this pin for example is just a video okay but you can have videos you can have uh, images and you can have a combination of videos and images too so again think about a pin kind of like your product page that you upload your products there and each pin is a different product now what's really important is that each of these pins has a name and has a description, okay? That's very, very important because you're showing off your product and you are naming them the correct way and giving them the description that your customers are looking for. Now, it's super important that you utilize what we call ninja phrases to create the title and the description, but I'll talk about it in more detail in a minute. So, and now once you have all of your products uh, created as separate pins, you can essentially start creating boards and start putting these pins in there. So again, think about it like a collection page instead of a uh, product page. So for example, this is a pin, this is a product. Uh, this product is called Persian Finishing Touches Rock and it's part of the headnoted.com store. Okay, so this is their store and inside the created, you will find that this is a pin that's the head knotted Persian rug we just saw, but it also exists inside the Persian rugs collection. So this is how it looks as a pin. And this is essentially the collection. And you can see that the product exists there as well. So again, your pins are your products and your boards are essentially your collection pages. Now, the mistake that most online stores do is that they either create just boards 
or they just create pins, but they don't do both, which really, really hurts the potential of new buyers coming to their store. So please make sure that no matter what, you are creating both pins and then putting just a little bit of extra effort to create those boards as well, because essentially that's going to more than triple the buyers coming to your store. And the reason why it's so important is because you've got to remember that Pinterest preferences ideas. Okay. It's a planning platform. So if you have a collection that has a Persian rugs collection name or Persian rugs hand knotted, uh, it's actually going to preference you and show your whole collection on a page like this to your potential buyer, which means that essentially you'll be making sure that there is more of your product shown to your ideal buyer without you having to compete for the space with your competitors. So for example, here, if I just put Persian rugs ideas into a search in Pinterest, I'm going to get all of these different companies. And essentially this is where you are competing against others. But if you create your boards effectively, you won't have to do that. You won't have to have other people's products displayed next to you, which is absolutely fantastic, right? Now the search term also brings me to the most important part of the Pinterest marketing strategy and which is essentially how you name your pins and how you describe them and how you name your boards, because that is extremely, extremely important. So look at this pin, for example, they've named the pin Persian finishing touches, really Persian finishing touches. It's uh, kind of like a little bit deceiving name because it doesn't say rock. Uh, it doesn't say living room rock and none of those keywords that actually the customer might be looking for. Okay. So what you want to do is make sure that you always think from customer perspective. So if you sell a red Persian rock or green wooden earrings, you want to make sure that those are the words that are inside the description, inside the name of the product and that they are also in the description of that product. So what most online stores do is that they just want to be creative. Okay. And then they name their products, something fancy, like, you know, the late autumn breeze or the teal collection, but they don't actually describe the products. And then this will really, really hurt the numbers of buyers they'll, who will be coming to your store because it's very important that you utilize those, what we call ninja phrases that your customers are looking for. And that is as important, the words you put in here and the way how you name your collection or your boards is just as important as creating the pin or the board in the first place. So that's why we always talk about the ninja phrases. So if you guys want to know more about the ninja phrases and what specific keywords you actually need to use in your titles and in your descriptions, we have another video specifically on how to do that in a super easy way. So just click on the link and it will take you straight there. Okay, guys, now a power tip a power tip that will help you literally triple the amount of buyers to your store in less than 30 seconds. So remember that Pinterest loves Google and Google loves Pinterest. Can you see how I typed in winter jacket ideas and literally all of this that came up was, um, from Pinterest. And you can see that those products like this person literally just has 42 followers. Okay with 42 followers, how is it possible that they just come up as the first Google result? That's just incredible. The thing is that because Pinterest is a planning and ideas platform, as long as you add the word ideas into your Pinterest board, it's literally going to get triple the amount of buyers to your store. That's super, super simple, right? So just have a look here. As soon as I add winter jacket ideas, Pinterest comes up. If I didn't put the word ideas there, I'm not even sure if Pinterest would be coming up Yeah, We would be getting all of these sellers in there. So guys, when you're creating your boards, make sure that you uh, name your board ideas. Like for, for example, Persian rugs, ideas, ultra vintage, purple rugs, ideas, bath mats, ideas, home decor, you know, whatever that is, earrings, whatever you are selling, you want to make sure that you add the keyword ideas in there so that you literally come up in the first search term result, like winter jacket ideas, 
bang, and then it takes you straight to your store, which is amazing. So guys, Pinterest marketing is super, super easy. It's a completely untapped territory. It's got over 400 million users. And on top of that, you don't need any followers. You don't need to interact with anyone. And it's not a popularity contest. How amazing is that? All you have to do is create your pins and create your boards and use some ninja phrases to name those properly to make sure that you're getting all of these buyers to your store, not just from Pinterest, but actually from Google searches as well. So guys, if you want to learn more about how to get more buyers to your store using Pinterest or other untapped resources that are easy to use and don't need many resources, you can find out in the next video. So guys, support the channel. Let us know how you like it. Let us know your aha, what you learned from this. Hit the like, subscribe button, comment below, and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Hey.